Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody, Gina Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. The holidays are right around the corner, and you all are looking for that perfect dessert to put on your dinner table. Listen here, I have an amazing dessert for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick and simple, yet so tasty, lemon cookie. These lemon cookies are coated in powdered sugar. They are so amazing. They're so soft. They're so supple and so sweet. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young style lemon cookies. You all never had these before. You better make you some. Okay, everyone, here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Very few ingredients, very little ingredients, but they're so tasty. They're packed with lemon flavor. If you love lemon flavor cookies, you're gonna love this recipe right here. Okay, so you can see that we have a lemon supreme cake mix. This one here is made by Duncan Hines. You don't have to use this name brand. Feel free to use whatever name brand you would like to use, okay? You're gonna need two large eggs, one third cup, a vegetable oil. You can use canola oil if you want it to. That will be just fine. We're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, and that's it. You're going to need some parchment paper and of course you will need, I highly suggest when you're making this cookie right here, that you use parchment paper. And then of course you're gonna need some type of baking sheets. Okay, let's get started. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. I hope that you all are having an amazing day. Thanksgiving is in a few days. Is everybody ready? Has everybody started their Thanksgiving shopping and holiday cleaning, all the fun stuff? Let me know in the comment sections what all you have done for the holiday. Are you ready for the holiday? Or are you that person that likes to rush that last minute to run in the store and grab everything right before the store closes? Let me know what type of person are you? <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and of course, you will need some powdered sugar, and I'll show you something really um, amazing that we're gonna do with that powdered sugar. This cookie, you don't have to use the powdered sugar, you can make a glaze for this cookie, but, okay, so if you're that person that says, I don't wanna coat my cookie in the powdered sugar, then you might be the person that wants to make a lemon glaze for your uh, cookie, okay? And I've showed you all how to make a lemon glaze before. It's really quick and simple. You're just gonna use some powdered sugar, a little tiny bit of milk, a little bit of vanilla, and some freshly squeezed lemon, and that will give you an amazing lemon glaze to put on top of your cookies, okay? But I feel like the cookie, the way that I'm gonna make the cookie today, it doesn't need, it does not need a glaze, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get this cake mix opened, just like so, all right? Grab some kitchen shears and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead, get your cake mix cut open. Here, let me tell you all this. Okay, so if you didn't wanna do the lemon cookie, guess what? You can do this with the red velvet cake mix. You better believe you can. The chocolate kind, and it makes for such an amazing, beautiful cookie. And it's a soft cookie at that. And now here's the thing, the red velvet would be so beautiful for the holidays. And then if you wanted to, you can take um, the vanilla cake mix, right? Put you a little tiny bit of green food coloring, and then you can have the red velvet ones for Christmas and the green ones as well, you know, and serve them on a platter for Christmas and they would make for the most beautiful cookie ever. So that's a great idea for Christmas. Okay, so we're gonna pour the contents. Let me move my camera over here into our bowl, just like so. You all might be able to hear Prince and Polo in the background. I think they see something outside. <laughs> if you all haven't seen my video that I did earlier, feel free to check that video out. I did my first um, uh, 
food haul and it was a lot of fun. Let me know after watching that video if I should do more food hauls. It was so much fun. Now, something interesting about this recipe right here, you don't put any milk in it. You don't put any water in it. We are gonna use the tablespoon right here of the freshly squeezed lemon juice, okay? That's a tablespoon. This is a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. You can put, or not vanilla, lemon extract. You can put vanilla extract in here as well if you'd like to. I'm gonna go just a little bit over. Not that much, let me take a little bit out. There we go, just like so, okay? And then we're going to crack two large eggs and one third cup of our vegetable oil. I don't suggest, you know how I always like to suggest when you're making a cake that you can use the um, unsweetened apple, my goodness, what am I thinking about guys? Hold on, let's pour this one third cup of vegetable oil in. You know how I always tell you all when you're making a cake that instead of using oil, you can use unsweetened applesauce? Don't do that with this recipe because the cookies won't turn out right, okay? You wanna use that oil for these cookies. I'm gonna crack my eggs in a separate bowl and the reason why is because just in case we were to have a bad egg or eggshells, we wouldn't have to throw the whole mixture away. So let me grab a separate bowl and I'll be right back. You all have seen these past few days, I haven't been doing two videos every day because I'm trying to give myself um, a little bit of energy for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna need all the energy in the world for Thanksgiving, okay? So I don't wanna burn myself out before my favorite holiday. But after the holiday, I'll be right back on track. Two videos. All right, here's this here. We have our beautiful, nice, beautiful eggs. Okay, make sure you're using large eggs. You can mix these by hand with a whisk, a fork. You can use a stand-up mixer, or you can do like I'm gonna do today and use the handheld mixer. Okay, either one would be just fine. Okay, I wanna move my powdered sugar out the way. And my parchment paper, we're just gonna uh, mix this up on a low speed. Now this here is a really, really sticky, um, what am I trying to say, cookie dough. So what you wanna do, what I highly suggest is after we mix this, we need to put this in the refrigerator for at least 35 minutes to an hour. So it can kind of set up a little bit and not be so sticky and you can really work with it. It's not gonna mess up the texture. It's not gonna prevent these from rising or anything, but I highly suggest. Now you can, if you wanted to mix them up and just go ahead and start baking them, you can, but I don't suggest that, okay? So let's go ahead and mix these just like so. Keep in mind that these are gonna be sticky and gooey. That's what it's supposed to look like. So don't feel like you've done something wrong because you haven't, okay? Get it well mixed up, just like so. And you can use an ice cream scoop to measure these out or you can use a tablespoon, measuring spoon like I'm gonna do so we can get all of our cookies the same size. Now the mixture is done. Okay, completely done. Okay, well, let's see, I wanna mix it a little bit more. I can see some oil that needs to be mixed in. Okay, so let me show you something. Look how gooey that is. There would be absolutely no way that we could put these onto a cookie sheet. Let it set up and come together a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a half an hour and then I'll be back and I'm gonna show you how to make that perfect cookie size. All right, be right back. Okay, everyone, so while our cookies kind of set up a little bit in the refrigerator, I'm gonna go ahead and align my cookie sheet with parchment paper. 
I'm going to take this here and cut, try to make it even somewhat so that it can fit onto my cookie sheet. Okay. I think I'll cut this part as well right here. Cut that little edge off. What holiday desserts are you all making for your holiday? Let me know in the comment section below. Is anybody making any of my dessert recipes for your holiday? If you are, let me know. Because I'm curious to see who all's making what. I made so many holiday recipes for you all. And so many holiday desserts. You all have so many different things to choose from. It's really exciting. I had a lot of fun showing you all how to make holiday dishes. And I am ready for the holidays. You better believe I am. Okay, I'm going to cut this right here. I don't know if I'm going to use both of these cookie sheets. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one just in case I do. Keeping in mind, don't forget that you can use any cake mix. That chocolate cake mix makes for an amazing cookie as well. And it's so beautiful once it bakes up. Okay, so there's that. And you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And you're only going to cook this for 8 to 10 minutes. The key about these cookies is you don't want to cook them too much. You're going to look at those cookies and you're going to think, oh, they're not done. But guess what? If you think that, they are done. They're going to barely look like they're done. Okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about once we take a peek in at them in the oven. We'll take a peek in at them at 8 minutes. Okay? Between 8 to 10 minutes, that's it. Most of the times mine are done between eight and nine minutes, they're perfect, okay? So I'm just gonna be patient and wait on my cookie dough to set up. Be back. Okay, everybody, this is set in the refrigerator for 40 minutes, let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a tablespoon. If you didn't wanna use a tablespoon, and here's what you can do, look at this. See how I'm gonna kinda of coat a little bit of powdered sugar on my spoon? Okay, now I'm going to go in, in this manner. Whoops, don't do it like I did. <laughs> Grab you around about that much. Pull that bad boy out just like so. And it will still have some stickiness to it, which is just fine. And then you put some powdered sugar on it. Roll it on there. Okay, shake off the excess. And put it right onto your baking sheet. Okay? I'm going to continue. Let's turn the camera a little bit so you all can see exactly what I'm doing. I like to use the tablespoon or you can use the, um, if you don't use the tablespoon, use the ice cream scoop, okay, as I spoke about earlier, okay? You can roll it into a ball if you have to. It's really up to your discretion. These cookies are amazing and they're so beautiful. Beautiful, you hear me? Woo, and if you like lemon, listen here. These bad boys are good. Oh, and you can see where they kind of slide out pretty easy. Um, versus trying to use the dough that was really, really sticky. That gets a little frustrating. Okay, let's see. I don't want to... These are going to spread out. Okay, so I don't want to put them too much. I don't want to pile on too many onto our cookie sheet okay just like so make this and let the kids get in the kitchen and help you with the recipe like this they will have so much fun and it's so quick and simple you know you can make the batter for them and then they can do this part and they're going to turn out amazing right see that Beautiful. Let's have some lemon cookies for our holiday. <laughs> you better believe it, baby. You can turn these bad boys into carrot cake cookies. Do the same thing with the powdered sugar. Same ingredients. Oh, you better believe it. And they're so soft and delectable. Oh, honey. Listen here. Mm. 
I love a quick and easy yet so simple and delicious recipe. There's nothing like it, right? These will be a great dessert tonight alongside of a nice glass of milk with ice or even a little bit of eggnog. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look at that. We're gonna put these in the oven 350 degrees and I'm gonna keep a good eye on them. Let's see, I wanna make sure they're not too close because these do spread, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and put some on here as well. Now with your uh, leftover uh, cookie dough, while these are baking, you just take the cookie dough and put it in the refrigerator, okay? You don't wanna leave it set out because we don't want it to get too sticky again, okay? Just like so. Doesn't have to be a perfect ball either, okay? Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited because this cookie is mouth-watering. Oh yeah, just like this. You better make yourself. All right, I'm gonna continue. Just like this, you know the strawberry, um, the strawberry cake mix. You can try that as well. It's amazing with this recipe. It's so beautiful and they're so bright and pink in color, you know? All right, I'm just gonna put two more on this one. I have my oven already preheating up 350 degrees. I'm gonna keep a good eye on these bad boys. And when I come back, we're gonna say an amazing prayer over our cookies. We're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna let you all know what they taste like. Be back. Going in the oven. Now these are going in the oven on the middle rack, never the bottom rack and never the top rack. Okay, everybody, look at these beautiful cookies. Now, the thing about these cookies, you wanna let them set for a minute, okay? Because right now, they'll fall apart if you think you're gonna grab them. Okay, see that there? Nice, beautiful, and I love the crackling uh, top. It makes for such a beautiful, and like I said, go ahead and try that vanilla cake mix and put the green um, food coloring in it so you can have that green cook, uh, green cookie for Christmas. And then try the red velvet cake and you can have that red with this beautiful powdered sugar on it. Amazing cookies. We're gonna let them cool down. Once they cool down, we'll come back, say a prayer, give them a try. I'm gonna let y'all know what these taste like. Be back. Now, how long did I cook them? Eight minutes exactly. Or I'm sorry, nine minutes. Let's go ahead and say a prayer over our beautiful cookies. Look at these lemon cookies. Oh my goodness, you all never had these before, baby. You better make you some because they're so quick and simple and so tasty. These will go in minutes. And it didn't take me but a hop, skip, and a jump to make those bad boys. Now, let's say our prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities. You hold their heart in your hand and you turn it like a water course. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the roof over your head, the food, love, peace, and joy that you bring us daily. Amen. We thank you for that, Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for all of my subscribers. I pray for everyone that's watch my channel. I thank you, Lord, for all of the subscribers that's coming my way in Jesus' name. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper, and I pray that you keep them safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's taste these amazing cookies. Now, keep in mind that it's only been just about five minutes. Let me show you the bottom. Look, oh, that's beautiful, right? My goodness, a cookie couldn't be more beautiful. Okay, so keep in mind that these are somewhat still a little bit soft, okay? Because we haven't let them set long enough. Let's try this. Let me know what y'all think about this right here, baby. Ooh, taste that. Look how beautiful and yellow it is. Taste that right now. I'm going in with this one right here. 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Eight, nine minutes and these are done. Even if they don't look done, they're done. They're beautiful. Mm. Mm-hmm. If you're that person that loves a great lemon bar, this right here kind of reminds you of a lemon bar. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Taste that. I'm going in again. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. And it's so chewy. It's light and fluffy. It's kind of buttery and it's sweet. And then you got the tang from the lemon. Oh, oh, oh baby. Mmm. You're not going to get disappointed with these. If y'all enjoyed this video right here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends everything you know about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. One more bite. One more bite, guys. Taste that. Mmm. 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 Mmm.